Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Keeneland Racecourse here on Sunday. It is April the 10th, 2016. Going to look at race number four. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections. Today's fourth race from Keeneland is an allowance race per $69,000. It's for four-year-olds and upward, which have never won $36,000 three times on the main claim starter restricted or state bred or never won a mile on the turf uh, since July the 10th or over a mile on the turf that is um, field of eight horses traveling a mile and one eighth on the turf course and a uh, very nice race mile and eighth and I'm going to do Super Factor Key here. I'm going to give you a bit of a price here of the two horse under control at 6 to 1, which is Rain Van Dyke. I'm going to key that horse on top for a Super Key. I'm going to go 2 with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. That was the 2 with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. It's a $6 Super Key. Um, you know, it's a very tough race, this one. I might even do an exact this way. Um, I'll, I'll do an exact 2 with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. Um, it, it, that would cost you 1, 2, it'll cost you 5 bucks to play this exact key. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, this is one of those weird races where you could go put all the horses underneath. You could go a super all. It's, I'm not spending 24 bucks if it's going to pay 36 bucks. But, um, you know, number 2 under control, top selection here. Jordan Van Dyke for Grand Motion. This 8-year-old gelding report. On a gel as a gelden on the June the 7th of 2011, but last time out at Goldstream Park, mile and an eighth, an optional 100,000 claimer. Finished third by four and a half lengths that day. Was third basically all throughout that day, and you know, he had no bid. That was the horse's first start since um, September the 7th of 2015, a mile 16th in the Bernard Baruch Stakes at a uh, handicap at uh, uh, Saratoga. The horse finished sixth by nine lengths that day. Again, he just had nothing that day. It was a little bit wide, you know, got to uh, three lengths off the lead early uh, mid-race, and then after that, really um, disintegrated. And then uh, August the 8th at Saratoga, mile 16th in the lower stakes for ninety um, thousand for a hundred thousand dollars. Excuse me, one by one and a quarter lengths. Really closed up well. Really nice victory rallying that day. Um, at Keeneland, this horse has uh, has one start. That was a second place finish. Um, so keep that in mind. But this horse, um, I think the distance should be good here. Should really um, do well over this course. Um, you know, he, he's. He, He's been in the, his last win uh, was uh, back in August. Start before that, his last win before that one was uh, 2014 on uh, at Pimlico. May the 15th, mile 16th, optional third to claimer, one by two and quarter lengths, really closed up well. Um, he is paid. This race could be a stakes race. It really can be, um, like a grade three stakes race or grade two even. Um, he's gonna have his. Um, He's going to be, uh, you know, facing a lot of tougher horses today, but I think this horse could really maybe be an upsetter here. Uh, six to one, like the price. Drain Van Dyke, he's a great turf rider. Um, so yeah, going with this one. So to recap my bets for race number four from Keeneland Racecourse here on the Sunday program, going to go with the two horse here. Going to do uh, Super Factor Key two with the one, two, three, four, eight. I'm also going to play an exact in the same way. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.